Okay, so let's take a look at our problem statement for our next program. And in this particular problem statement, we're going to see some fictitious botany, so don't take any of this as being literal. And one of the things that we want to do as we read through this problem statement is try to analyze it and find out maybe what our inputs are going to be, what sort of conditions we may have, and then what sort of output uh, we're interested in producing. So we have here a red seed, and we're told that this red seed will grow into a flower. So let me go ahead and mark that we're talking about a red seed here with my little highlighter. So it will grow into a flower when planted in soil temperatures above 75 degrees. So we've got to be above 75 to get a flower. Otherwise, it will grow into a mushroom. So we'll say otherwise we get a mushroom here. Assuming that the temperature meets the conditions for growing a flower, planting the red seed in wet soil. So if we plant it in wet soil, it will produce a sunflower. And planting the seed, red seed in dry soil. So I'll mark this dry soil. It's going to produce uh, a dandelion. So that's really the main pieces of information there from the first paragraph. And being able to pick that out is fairly important. All right, so the next thing we're looking at is a blue seed. So we've got this choice between a red seed and a blue seed. And it will grow into a flower when planted in soil temperatures that range between 60 and 70. And then uh, otherwise, it's also going to grow into a mushroom. So it's, if it's not planted between 60 and 70, it's going to grow into the mushroom just like our red seed did for um, uh, temperatures that were below 75 degrees. So assuming that the temperature meets the, the conditions for growing a, a flower, planting the blue seed in wet soil, so in wet soil it will produce a dandelion, and planting the blue seed in dry soil will produce a sunflower. So basically the opposite of what we had before. So what do we have to do? We've got to write a program that will ask the user to input uh, the seed color, and then they have to input the, the soil temperature, and then finally, they will input uh, whether the soil is wet or dry, so basically this, the soil moisture. And then they need to output um, what will it grow. So is it going to grow a, a mushroom? Is it going to grow a, a dandelion? Or is it going to grow a, a sunflower? That's basically the, the three choices we have. So we read over our problem statement. We've analyzed it to a certain degree. We realize what our inputs are. We know the basic conditions that we have, and we also need we also know under what conditions what will actually grow. So let's go ahead and go over to Eclipse and start writing up some pseudocode for this. All right, so it looks like we're ready to start doing some pseudocode here for program four. So I've already created the program four project folder and also created the program four uh, source file within that project folder. So here we are with the problem statement, so I'll just copy this in so we can reference it as we write our pseudocode. If you need to go back to uh, program one, two, or three, and any of those, I'll show you how to create a project folder and also how to include a source file in Eclipse. Okay, so let's take a look at writing the pseudocode. So the first thing that we need to think about for our pseudocode is what input we need to get from the user. So there's really three pieces of information that we need to get from the user. One's the seed color, two is the temperature of the soil, and three is the moisture of the soil. So is it wet or is it dry? So I'm going to just indicate this by doing uh, get seed color, and then we need to get uh, temperature, and then finally we need to get the soil moisture. So I'll write that as soil. So once we have those three pieces of data, then we can actually make some decisions. So based off the seed color, we would do one set of actions. Based off of um, the temperature, we'll do something else. And then based off of the, the whether the soil is, is moist or wet or dry, then we'll do some other uh, set of actions. So the first thing we need to look at is if we have a red seed. So if red seed we'll do some set of actions if blue seed will do some other set of actions. So I'm going to come in here and tab over uh, below this if red seed. So this is saying that if it turns out that we have a red seed, let's do these set of actions. So that's why I've tabbed over here. So, so I'm associating this, this set of uh, pseudocode with that action. 
All right, so now we can look at what? Well, if we come back up here, we see that uh, if the soil temperature is above 75 degrees, and then we'll get some sort of flower. Uh, and if it's not, then we'll get a mushroom. So we can say if uh, temperature is greater than or equal to 75, we'll do one set of things, and otherwise we'll get a mushroom. So I'll just say output uh, mushroom. Okay. So if the temperature is in fact greater than or equal to 75, we have two alternatives there. One uh, results in a sunflower and the other results in a dandelion. So if the soil is wet, we'll want to output uh, dandelion. Let's see, dandelion. If the soil is dry, then we'll result in a. Um, some, actually, I have that exactly backwards. Let me make sure I get this right. So that was a mistake. So that should be sunflower there. And this should be uh, dandelion down here. Okay. So if the soil is wet, I'll put sunflower, and the soil is dry, I'll put dandelion. All right, so you guys need to keep me straight here. Make sure I'm not saying the wrong stuff. It says one thing here, and I'm trying to type out something else here for our pseudocode. And that would have totally destroyed our solution before we even got started. So that's not good. All right, so that's pretty much what's going on with our red seed. So if the red seed, we can check on the temperature and then check on the moisture, whether it's wet or dry. If it doesn't meet the temperature, uh, if it's not above 75 or at least 75 and above, then we'll get a mushroom. All right, so let's look at blue seed and what happens. So with blue seed, if we scroll back up here and look at the problem statement briefly, we see that we get some sort of flower if the temperatures range between 60 and 70. Okay, so we'll test that. So I'll come down here and say if temp uh, is between 60 and 70, we'll do one set of actions. Otherwise, if it's not, what do we get? We get a mushroom just like before. So we want to output uh, mushroom. Okay, so let's focus in on what happens if the temperature is in fact between 60 and 70. So going back up here, it says uh, that if the temperature is between 60 and 70, so it meets the temperature conditions, then pl planting the blue seed in wet soil will produce a dandelion, and planting the blue seed in dry soil will get a sunflower. So it's exactly opposite of what we had with the red seed, even though I tried to type that uh, backwards whenever we're dealing with the red seed. But now we can type out um, if the soil is wet, then we'll get a dandelion. Let's see. Dandelion. It's a hard word to spell sometimes. Maybe it's just my typing. And if the soil is dry, then we will output a sunflower. And that's basically it. So this is the the general pseudocode that we have here. We have the check to see what kind of seed we have, and then based off the seed we look at the temperature, and then if the t temperature is in the right uh, conditions for a flower, we look at whether the soil is wet or dry, and we output that information appropriately. So that is our pseudocode. So now we'll come back and start filling in some actual source code.